Donald Trump had another rally this weekend, folks, and like it's getting so grim. This is why people think there's going to be a civil war, because imagine this guy was your cult leader. Imagine you worship this guy like he was the new Jesus. And every week he went out there and told you lies about how bad the country was to scare you. Listen to this fear mongering. After just nine months under Biden, violent criminals and bloodthirsty gangs are taking over our streets. Cats are exploding on playgrounds and killing all the children. Godzilla is running rampant in our streets and King Kong refuses to help because he hates Joe Biden. Every single one of you will be raped and murdered by the stroke of midnight because of Joe Biden. I mean, it's no wonder they're fucking freaking out, folks. It's just excessive fear mongering as hard as he can push it. And then uh, let's go right into the racism. Yeah. I mean, the Afghanistan refugees, we went over there, spent trillions of dollars, killed hundreds of thousands of them, displaced more of them. These people are in dire need of help because of our actions. Not just our actions, but our actions are definitely included in that. And of course, Donald Trump going to get out there and make them the bad guys, make you scared of them. So when we do have refugees coming over there and I show you video after video of Trump supporters shitting on them, being racist to them, being violent towards them. Don't anybody fucking try to tell me that Donald Trump didn't have anything to do with that. Because this is what causes it right here. It was, oh, that was great. They had no idea who was getting on those planes. We still don't have any idea. Only 3% were co qualified to be taken to a place called the United States of America. Isn't that something? 3%. You're going to be hearing from those people over the coming years in a very bad way, right? Right, yeah. Be, be afraid. Be afraid of the brown people coming over here. Be afraid of the people whose lives we help destroy and are just trying to make a better life for themselves and for their families who are desperate in need of a better life. Be afraid. Yeah, that's what causes it, folks. Every time you see somebody say, go back to where you came from, go back to your other country, towards Asians, minorities, brown people, this is why they're doing it. Because of the white supremacists in chief. The goddamn Republicans put in office to keep supporting, and yeah. Here's some 1984 Nazi book-burning scary-ass bullshit right here. We will ban critical race theory in our classrooms. We will ban that horrible, crazy, critical race theory in our military. We will ban it from our workplaces. We will ban it from our federal, state, and local governments. It will be banned, permanently banned, and will never be allowed to come back again. Yay! Ban free speech and ideas, hooray! Why should we have to be taught anything we don't wanna know? That would hurt our brains. And of course, the scary part is they're not teaching critical race theories in our schools only college level classes. They're not teaching critical race theory in the military. They're not teaching critical race theory in our workplace. What they've done is they've uh, just decided that all talk of racism and the racist history of our country and the uh, immense racism that still exists in our country, they put it all under the banner of critical race theory. So they're literally trying to ban teaching the truth about the origins and the roots of our country. These are the same people that say, oh my God, if you take monuments down of Confederate soldiers, you're destroying and erasing our history. These people literally want to erase our history and make it illegal to teach the children the truth about this country. Free speech warriors, crickets. They actually hate free speech. They're so insecure too, folks. It's hilarious how pathetic these people are. So what is your message uh, to the viewers here today? What do you hope President Trump's gonna say? Okay, I did some, can you hold it up so I don't have to bend down and be submissive to you? They can hear you. Thank you. <laughs> is leaning over gay folks? Oh my God, could you put it up? I don't wanna be submissive to anybody except for Trump. I would lick Trump's asshole, his big sweaty asshole. He could like jog, he wouldn't jog. He could play golf all day in his Depends underwear. He could take him off. I would spread it, lick his ass. But I don't want to be submissive to anybody. Just beyond parody, these motherfuckers. Hilariously embarrassing. And uh, it's a cult, folks. It's such a fucking creepy ass cult. Imagine of all people, Donald Trump. This makeup caked, doughy, just so dumb he could barely form a fucking sentence. Can't walk without getting winded, yet he is somehow their messiah. And look how emotionally fragile they are when talking about him. Face. I know my whole family has turned liberal and I don't know what happened because I didn't raise them that way. And they've all been brainwashed. Oh my God. They are able to think for themselves and didn't believe everything I taught them. They've realized that I'm just a stupid piece of shit that don't know what the fuck I'm talking about ever. I can't believe it. Okay and they've all been brainwashed to think that he's the most horrible man ever when he's saving everyone. 
Right. I mean, I'm gonna, gonna start getting emotional. I'm gonna start getting emotional because Donald Trump is saving everybody. Literally not saving anybody. He is just a con artist making millions and millions off you gullible fucking idiots. Who the fuck is he saving? It's just bizarre. It's so fucking bizarre. Everything depends on this. America depends on this. We have got to save. We've got to do everything we can. This is, and I'm not even an American citizen. I was born in England, but I've been here since <laughs> I was five, and this is my home. Wait, you've been here since you were five, and you're not an American citizen yet? What the fuck are you waiting on? You're like 70. You've been here 65 years and have not bothered to become an American citizen yet? And we've got to save it. We've just got to. God is with us, and the... the God wins in the end. Right? That's why the <laughs> enemy is lashing that. out right now. We know. We know we're going to suffer for a while, but it's going to be good. It's you're such be martyrs. More glorious than anything we've ever seen. So glorious, we all the winning you're doing. God and pray and so much faith. do everything we can. Everything. Everything. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we will. We will. I, I mean, Except just get vaccinated, of course. I, I have just keep the faith. faith that this man is going to save us. He's, gonna, he's basically saving the world. <laughs> he's not yes. Just us. Trump everyone. is saving the. He's basically Everybody. Superman, Trump. And I just can't wait until I'm never going to say I told you so, but I'm just going to be just so happy and. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Trump! Superman going to save everybody! You know it's true. And uh, then this woman went viral, folks, talking about a civil war is coming. Because, like, you can understand why they believe this. They listen to Trump just tell us, you know, it's the worst it's ever been. You're all going to die in your sleep. You're going to be murdered by Joe Biden. He's going to sneak in your window and slit your throat. So they really believe all the fear he spreads which makes them want to murder us all. They lost the election, they can't take it, and they'd rather kill us all than just let democracy run its course. I want to introduce you to one woman we spoke to who had some thoughts on the current state of the party. I think the Republicans are about as weak as they possibly could be in, the, in Congress. You have maybe six that are worth their salt. Ted Cruz, Mike Lee, Rand Paul, and two or three others. Marjorie Taylor Greene, Bobert. The rest of them are just the same as the Democrats. They've been there too long. They they're literally sick. aren't. If you look at the stuff they vote for, they're not the same as the Democrats at fucking all. Establishment. They don't care about the American people because they're in their elite little tower. And so we're just sick of it. They're in their elite little tower. The guy you worship literally lived in a gold tower. Like, what the fuck? How can they not see it? How can they be this far removed from reality? It's just so frustrating. You know, and we're not going to we're not going to take it anymore. I you see are. a civil war coming. I do. I see civil war coming. I, I, we're not going to take it anymore. We cannot stand that someone voted for somebody we didn't want them to vote for. So we're going to have to murder you all. We're the good guys, though. I see a civil war coming. And that's the sort of sentiment that we're hearing from a lot of folks here in Des Moines, from the economy to Afghanistan to the border. But don't worry, there's not going to be a civil war. Zero percent chance a civil war is going to happen. Uh, first off, the military we have now in the United States is not like it was hundreds of years ago when the civil war happened, right? It's completely fucking different. The Al Qaeda and the gravy sales might commit some domestic terrorism here and there to try to uh, jump off a civil war. But all that's going to happen is they're going to get knocked down real fucking quick, killed in prison, and uh, nothing is going to fucking happen. But once again, let's take a look at uh, the Gravy Seals training for the civil war, folks. The best of the best. They're prepared for Trump's civil war. We should all be very afraid. Look at them. Oh, shit, they're badass. Boom. Oh, yep. Now it's your turn. Now you shoot. Now it's my turn. You shoot. And now I'm going to shoot. And oh, yeah. I just shot you in the head. Yeah. Oh, accidentally. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Cool. They're just going to kill each other, folks. Nothing to fear from these guys. But you know who I do feel sorry for? The left-leaning, rotten, tiny trees. Because uh, here's Special Forces Commander MAGA Madison Cawthorn. And oh, shit. Fucking those rotten trees up. God damn it. What were you thinking? That tree is Antifa. I can just tell. I can tell it's an Antifa tree. So uh, I'd be scared as shit if y'all are you Antifa trees out there. He coming for y'all. 